you're seeing when they come out to bars and uh, restaurants uh, l predominantly later in the evening is you're seeing the deployment of a, a cross uh, collaborative uh, strike team, uh, a task force, excuse me. It's a, it's a task force uh, that is going out and it's comprised of, I think, uh, two or three police officers, uh, some health inspectors, and uh, it has some uh, bylaw folks there, some business license folks. Uh, and, uh, and and potentially uh, uh, one other person I might be missing from uh, Alberta Health Services. Um, that team is going out, uh, it, and, and you know, I, I, I've had some great uh, conversations with their leader. Uh, that team is going out and, and specifically, first off, trying to help people, and then secondly, where we have those who have some egregious violations, um, the, 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 the Alberta Health Services folks are, are, are writing orders on what needs to be done. Um, I regret that people view that as something more than it is. It's there to help Calgary's uh, comply and it's there to make sure that we can keep those businesses open and uh, in a safe fashion uh, for everyone to enjoy. Well, I certainly don't want to see any harassment by inspectors, but I also want to say that restaurants and bars have by and large been doing an excellent job of managing the risk and of creating good protocols. Not all of them. And that's why you still need inspection the same way I say the vast, vast, vast majority of restaurants abide by, you know, cleanliness guide guidelines, but you still need inspectors. Um, trust but verify. No, I want to say the restaurants have been doing great because they've been following these guidelines. And that's the critical thing because it's very easy for a restaurant to not follow the guidelines. So we've had two lounges in Calgary closed down because they were operating as nightclubs instead of uh, as restaurants or as bars with table service. And those were two major outbreaks. Look, I myself had to get tested and contact traced because someone came to City Hall having contracted it at one of these lounges. Uh, that was in the summertime. That's not new news. But... Um, but you know what? Uh, you got to be super careful. And I'm sorry if people are feeling harassed and everyone should be professional uh, in terms of the Alberta health inspectors, in terms of the police officers and so on. But I want to say to the vast majority of restaurants and bars, you're doing a great job and we want to keep you open. You know, we want to keep you open and we want to not have restrictions on the hours you can serve alcohol and so on. But we've seen that in other jurisdictions, that is where we've had to crack down. And I hope we don't have to do that here. And it's about the restaurants and bars being good, but also about the patrons being disciplined.